We did it. We've reached the top of the mountain. <sighs> About damn time. My knees are singing symphonies over here. Look, there it is. That's it. That's Pelegion, the seat of Volron's power. So that's where Xion's being held? Most likely. Most likely? That is what I said, yes. Pelegion's still our best lead, so that's where we go, right? Any advice before we head in there? No. No? In the ancient tongue, Ganeth Heros means Fortress of Nought, though I fail to see what insight that nugget of trivia holds. I guess I just thought you might have something we could use. Since Volron became Lord, the only thing this realm has been known for is its Shroud of Secrecy. It is Volron's stronghold. All else is incidental. Just keep in mind that you can't be too careful inside. Speaking of which, just how are all of us planning to get inside, exactly? It's not like there are any secret passages. We've come this far. If there's no other way in, I guess we'll just have to use the front gate. Volron told us to come find him, which means he's expecting us. Let's do this the old-fashioned way. Land of water or no, this place has a most curious atmosphere. I'd be taking a dip in it if the circumstances were better. Sorry, but we have to push through for now. Shion is waiting. Yeah, I hear ya. A soak can wait. I sure hope nothing bad's happened to Shion. Keep those thoughts to yourself, Rinwell. Everyone's anxious enough as it is. S sorry it's just... I can't seem to stop thinking about it. What do you think it is that Volron wanted with her anyway? Going by what he said back on Almadria's ship, it would appear his primary target is Alfin. Though, it's likely he hasn't forgotten the blow he sustained at Xion's hand either. That might even be what ignited his interest. Yeah, did you see the way he reacted? It was like he was enjoying every moment. Even his pain at Xion's thorns. Oh, that guy's just creepy. Let's just hope he's keeping his perverted tendencies in check. What? Law? Don't say things like that! It's not like we weren't all thinking it. That's still no reason to... All right, you two. Now that's enough already. Alfin shouldn't have to grit his teeth while he listens to you. Oh. Uh, sorry. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? I think the animals back at the ranch should be all grown up by now.
Did we really just spend that much money? I swear I've seen that castle somewhere before. Right. I remember seeing it from the cliffs in Calaglia, across the sea. You mean Bullron's castle? Yeah, that must have been it. Geographically, it would make sense. It's most certainly large enough to be seen from afar. Back then, I had Shion and Zephyr with me. Well, we haven't lost Shion. We can still get her back, you know. That's right. I won't let Volron take her away from us. Easy peasy. I knew I could handle it. Dohalim, care if I hang out for a while? I wanted to ask you something. I'm all ears. How much contact did you have with the other lords back in the day? I only saw or exchanged words with them on a handful of occasions. Not that I was particularly keen on even that much. Almadria made it sound like the two of you had some kind of history together. She was like that with all of the lords, not just me. She was always interested in who she could use, who had value for her own ends. Having said that, she wasn't quite so brazen back when we were still in Lenegas. In a sense, she may have been a victim of the Crown Contest as well. Uh, Almadria? A victim? To a Renan, there is no greater honor in life than being chosen to serve as a lord, let alone to go on and become the next sovereign. We are taught that from the day we leave the womb. There are few Renans who wouldn't be ecstatic at the prospect of ascending to lordship. You were like that though, right? You've always struck me as a more grounded guy. No sane Renan would ever dare admit that their interests lie in anything but power and prestige, even if they feel so in their heart of hearts. The more you talk about it, the more it seems like the crown contest is nothing but misery for Renans, too. Which is why I seek to end it. Not that I imagine Danon, such as Rinwell, are all that interested in hearing tales of woe such as mine. We'd best get ready for tomorrow. Once we finish eating, we should get going. I don't want Shion to get mad at us for dragging our feet. Alfin? She's the one that's kept us on track. Picked me up when I was down. Sure. I just thought she'd always be there. Stop thanking, the sooner you can start helping. <laughs> I mean, yes, sir. 
Never had a doubt. more flames into the mix? Huh? It's not that easy to adjust, you know. I like to hear. <sighs> Let's see what you've got. Not on my watch. Right. Take this. Talent hurricane. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Back I 
Nope, this egg is left. How about this? Negative damage. Resonate with the earth. Stalagmite. Guess I had to use it sometimes. Watch this. 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 Watch you see what happened there if you cross path. Shouldn't have done that. That's better. Oh, right. Right. It's just time. Time. Swallow so there. I'm on a roll. In an instant. Impact cross. All aboard the victory train. Overconfidence can bite you in the butt. Improvement. Them. Uh, more stoppable? <sighs> 
opted for an intricately crafted weapon, as usual. It is beautiful in both function and form. You're gonna hate when it gets scratched. This is no place to fish, is it? Why do I suddenly feel jealous? It too, right? Where should I cast my line? Now where might those fish be? Huh. All right.
We can get a good meal out of this fella. That fish put up a fight. Good catch. Now where might those fish be? <sighs> hey, I'm pretty lucky. See what you've got. Go hey, in. This one's mine. One ready. Regenerate. Going in. Drag it down. Going in. in. Eat this. Board. Holy glimmer. Holy land. Drag it down. Here goes. In here. Get one. Dance. Rock and pearl. Well, we'll get the gun. I'll smash you. The tempest has engulfed you. All finished. Flashing back! Easy! Way to go! In here! Get caught! There you are! Now we'll never take this! Do it! Round now I'm in the group! This one's mine! Do it! Quickly in! Look, look, look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Didn't even break a sweat! We're checking out Kisara from behind. Well, uh, no, I wasn't. We should be able to cook here.
gosh. The castle's even larger once you get close to it. What's that shining thing up top? A spirit vessel? It feels creepy, like it's watching over everything. You think he knows we're here? We'd best assume as much, yes. What we have to do is simple. Just beat Volron and rescue Xion. That's it. Try not to work yourself up too much. We have a lot of city and castle yet to traverse. Hell yeah! There's no way you can complain about how this tastes! Kisara, let's talk for a bit. I'll take watch tonight. It's okay. Rise and shine. We're almost ready to leave. a tremor just now? Like we made it here in one piece. We're almost there, guys. Don't let your guard down. <laughs> I'm excited just thinking about us barging through the front gate. Huh. Are you Alfin and his companions? Why would you think that? You are the only one scheduled to arrive, and there are no unscheduled arrivals in Ganeth Harrow. So I'll ask again, are you Alfin and his companion? We are. Then pass. Lord Volron is expecting you at Castle Del Faris. Well, suppose it's rather nice of them to roll out the red carpet for us. <laughs> so we're supposed to meet him in there? What do we do now? Let's see how things look around the city first. Then we'll make our way to the castle.
Not a slave in sight. Where is everyone? There aren't even any soldiers. Something feels off. I don't like it. Like the fact that the enemy could ambush us at any moment? Yeah, not crazy about that either. No, not that. Something else. That must be Volron's castle up ahead. I suppose we just walk right up to it then? That's what the guard from before said. Now if we only knew where they were keeping Xion, we could try to... That's it! Hmm? That weird feeling. It's not just that the city is empty. It feels like no one lives here at all. Now that you mention it, it does feel strangely... artificial. Think maybe it's a district just for the Renans alone? With all this open space? Seems unlikely. About. They were Danins, right? That wasn't normal. Wait, you don't think it could have been the fruit of Helgen, do you? No, they seem too docile. What about astral energy? Could you sense any coming from them? No, and I'm pretty sure I could tell if it was. If not that, though, then what? Speaking of which, it didn't look like there was anyone guarding them either. They were headed for the castle. I have a bad feeling about those boats. I get what you mean. It didn't feel like those folks are just commuting to work. The waterway they're floating on appears to lead to Del Faris Castle. If we follow it, we may learn more about what's taking place here. So, any ideas what the deal was with that boatload of weirdos? Your guess is as good as mine. They looked like Dan and slaves, but beyond that... This city is grander and more beautiful than any other we've been to, yet... I know what you mean. From the architecture right down to the people, something feels off somehow. I've long maintained one can glean a lot about a ruler from their city. Considering how unsettling this place is, I'd say I wasn't far off the mark. Despite its surface layer of majesty, walking around inside, it feels more like a hollowed-out ruin. I say we follow after that boat. If we're lucky, they might be in the mood to give us some answers. are shaking. What? Liar. Just kidding. <laughs> you... Ghost towns that were more alive in this city. Where the hell did all the Danans and Renans go? Shion.
There's nobody here either. Looks like the only building up ahead is the castle. But... No good. It's a dead end. I don't relish our chances climbing. Or breaking through, for that matter. And yet, this seems to be the only way inside. Take a look around. There must be a switch or something to... What? What is it this time? Look! Over there! that murdering monster? It's all a demonstration designed to provoke. To prove to us, no, to Alfin, just what he's capable of. Kidnapping Xion. Killing all those people. If it's just me he's after, then why hurt them? Why do all this just to get at me? You hear me, Volron? Answer me! Alfin, this is not your fault. Don't give this to him. <laughs> I know. And I won't. My hands are stained with blood. But even so, if we're going to stop that bastard, then I need to keep going. Let's move. <sighs> Damn it. How awful. All of those people in the boats. Do you think they had any idea what was going to happen to them? They did a damn good job of concealing it if they did. You ask me, the only thing on their mind was following orders. And I bet I can guess who from. Volron. The only thing they knew was mindless oppression right to the very end. What kind of purpose is that? Living only to die at your master's whim? Being a slave means having your whole life stolen from you. In the worst cases, quite literally. That bastard will get what's coming to him. I'll see to it he does. Is this what I think it is? Those people, 
they were all... He's sick. Sick and deranged. Remember this well. This is the true face of who we're up against. Still, if it's not fruits of Helgen he's using, then how do you think Volron goes about controlling all of them? They didn't look like they'd been threatened, but they didn't look like they understood anything either. It could be something else, like a potion, perhaps. But frankly, I doubt it. But that would mean they're following Volron out of choice? But why? Nothing bolsters a despot's authority more than loyalty. Loyalty is advantageous for any ruler. For Volron, it means acolytes willing to give their lives for him. As for whether they did it willingly or not, I'd say they're merely puppets dancing to their master's tune. But to the point where they'd give up their own life force? Is that even possible? You just saw it for yourself. And think back to when I was your lord. If I'd asked you to sacrifice yourself for some cause, would you have? <laughs> Dohalim. My apologies. My words got away from me again. No, you're... You're absolutely right. The only difference being that you never demanded such a thing. You wouldn't. All lords are masters in the art of manipulating their subjects' hearts, whether they use fear, torture, or various other methods. The outcome is the same. Fear. No wonder there's no remaining signs of a resistance force in this place. <laughs>